iGadget's mini tripod, can you really get decent camera gear for under £10? So this mini tripod costs £5.39 on Amazon. It actually makes it at that time the cheapest miniature DSLR tripod on the market. It's quoted as a two-in-one design, and that's because it will convert from this tripod design into a handheld pistol grip. It has a quarter inch thread on the top for mounting your DSLR or mirrorless camera, and this mounting plate fully articulates through 90 degrees. That's to help enable you to go from a tripod stand to that pistol grip. It has a quoted maximum load of five kilos, which I find hard to believe. I think they might have overestimated there slightly as it is an entirely plastic design. I would say in all likelihood, your maximum load is gonna be no more than two kilos on this miniature tripod. So with that, let's look at the good bits of the iGadget's miniature tripod. The best bit, I suppose, is that it costs £5.39, and really for £5.39, you can't really get much camera gear for that. In fact, that is 10 times less than the Joby Gorillapod SLR Zoom. So you could get 10 of these for one Gorillapod. It's tiny. It stands at around 10 centimeters when in the tripod mode, and it is super, super lightweight. It actually feels like it weighs nothing. So in many ways, that's a great feature because it will be the kind of accessory that you'll happily carry with you, perhaps even on your belt, in your pocket, in the bag. It's the kind of thing that you'll chuck into your camera gear and forget that you've got and inevitably then get to use. The best feature is probably the pistol grip that it folds into. It then becomes a handheld mount. And in reality, it feels quite sturdy and durable in that manner. I guess because your hand is so close to the camera. I think truth be told, it's less of a camera mount, this little miniature tripod, and more of an accessory mount. When you consider that it is an all plastic design, it's not gonna be able to hold a great deal of weight, but perhaps you could mount your mobile phone onto it, a GoPro, or even a miniature LED light. And at that point, you think that this is actually quite a useful little accessory. So with that, let's look at the bad bits of the iGadget's miniature tripod. Obviously, it's build quality, it's cheap and nasty. It's plastic, it's hollow, it's light. They say it takes five kilos, I say two, and even then I would be a little bit worried. So really, you're not gonna get a DSLR camera on this. You're only ever gonna get a mirrorless camera with a small lens as a maximum. And that's because not just the build quality of the legs and the handle is cheap, but also this mounting plate is on a really nasty kind of quick release articulation. Feels like that is the point in which it's gonna break because that is the point in which it takes all the weight. And beyond that, there's not really much else to say. The machining of the only metal part is okay. It's a quarter inch thread and it fits into the camera kind of nicely. It's just generally a very, very cheap, cheap bit of plastic. So professional bit of kit, this is not. It's certainly not a tripod for your camera, but as a handy little accessory, perhaps to hold a little light on, maybe for your mobile phone, or perhaps even it's your first handheld mount for your first vlog. This is actually a great accessible bit of kit for that. At five pounds, even if it broke after a week, you probably wouldn't be that sad. So that's been my grab and go review of the iGadget's miniature tripod. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.